No! I didn't tell you to start recording! But what am I playing? Hey, what am I playing? So I have been playing Kangaroo. I have been playing this on my Atari 2600 Plus. This is an Atari 2600 game. So I have a bunch of Atari 2600 games from when I was a kid. The 2600 was pretty much the console of my childhood. But it wasn't until recently that I started going through my old collection and seeing what I still had and started playing them again due to my Atari 2600 Plus. Before the 2600 Plus, these things weren't the most convenient to play. At any rate, I completely forgot about Kangaroo. Uh, this is a title that I just, I didn't remember. Honestly, I forgot this thing even existed. It came out in 1983, and it was kind of Atari's take on the Donkey Kong formula. Donkey Kong, of course, being a very popular game at that time, so obviously Atari was going to try to get in on some of the action. In this game, you play as a mother kangaroo that has to ascend a level and save their joey from evil monkeys? I don't know. There's evil monkeys that are coming down and you can punch. In addition to this, there's like a bouncing ball that I think is a coconut? I don't know. I don't have the manual anymore, so I don't remember what it is. But the bouncing ball will drop on you and hurt you, so you must avoid it. Anyway, I, I've been kind of amazed because this game has aged really, really well. For a game that came out in 1983, honestly, this still plays really nicely. And you can't say the same for a lot of other Atari 2600 games. I mean, I love the 2600, don't get me wrong. But if I'm honest, a lot of those games have not aged very well, and they aren't really that much fun to play these days. But Kangaroo definitely is. Uh, I, I really have been enjoying it, it's really a lot of fun. If you have opportunity to play it, I recommend it pretty highly. You probably have to play it on an emulation unless you want to go and really track down the physical. But, you know, play it on an emulator. It's the same thing. Anyway, Kangaroo for the Atari 2600. Fun stuff. Hey. What am I playing? So I have been playing Terra Cresta on the NES. I have been playing this predominantly on my retro USB AVS. So Terra Cresta is one of the games in the Cresta line of games. Originally, the first game was called Moon Cresta, came out in the arcades. Terra Cresta was, I think, the sequel? Um, I don't know if it came out in the arcades, but it definitely came out on the NES. Now here's the funny thing about this game. I have owned this cartridge for like 30 years, more than 30 years at this point. I don't remember ever playing it. In fact, it really wasn't until recently that I got the Cresta Collection that I think I got for the Switch that I started rediscovering these games and remembering, oh man, I really enjoyed Moon Cresta in the arcade. And then I was going through some of my old NES cartridges and seeing what might look fun to play, and I saw this. And I was shocked because I didn't realize I even had it. The point is... I may have played it in the past, but I don't remember it, and it, it's like I'm playing it new for the first time. So what are the Cresta games, and more specifically, what is Terra Cresta? Well, they are vertical shmups 
The first game, Moon Cresta, was a Galaga slash Galaxian clone. This game, this is a vertical shmup. This is honestly closer to something like Xevious than like the later games in the vertical shmup genre, like 1942 and stuff. The central gimmick of the game is that your ship can pick up other ship parts and make their ship more powerful. Anyway, it's a blast. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, if you do happen to have the ability to check this out, this is a fun game. I recommend it pretty highly.